What's up everybody, my name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. Thank you all so much for the support over the channel recently. If you haven't though, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe and check out the link down in the description below for the brand new free Discord that I'm trying to get going here to bring a nice new whiskey community together. Check that out if you're interested. But for today's video, we are doing Cooper's Craft Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Okay, so Cooper's Craft, it is from Brown Foreman. I've had this bottle for a while, not a while now. I have not actually tried it yet. I have been cracked for a while. I actually saw this, I think, on an episode of the Bourbon Van. They said this is one of their favorite lower priced bourbons out there. So I figured I'd pick it up when I saw it. I think it cost me $35 for this bottle. Overall, for a $35 bottle, I think it looks pretty cool. I enjoy the shape of the bottle. I really enjoyed the label, how it sticks out against the whiskey. You can see all the whiskey in there. On the back, it says, Cooper's Craft, our chiseled barrels have been handcrafted by our master coopers to deliver a bold and complex Kentucky bourbon that is bottled at 100 proof. Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve take its very distinct flavor from barrels that have post-char chiseled interiors. This deepens the whiskey's wood exposure, creating a robust, taste profile. So it is coming in at 100 proof. I'm excited to try it today from Brown Foreman. We're going to rate it on the tier system, see where this $35 bottle stacks up against everything else that we've done this year. All right, let's do the bottle pop and get the nose straight out of the bottle. Okay. A partially synthetic cork there. Mm, brown sugar right out of the gate. Real nice brown sugar there some butter, a little bit of cherry on there, maybe allspice in there, a little bit of allspice in the background or something just a little bit of, maybe like dandelion, a little bit of dandelion too. So I don't know, interesting. It smells pretty good, real heavy on the brown sugars. So that part, it smells really, really nice, buttery it smells like, really enjoy the nose so far. Got a few things in there that were a little bit tougher to pick out out of the bottle, but we'll go ahead and try it here out of the glass. Color-wise, for a $35 bourbon, it's actually pretty dark. Much more mahogany and that deep ambers in there than I would really expect to see out of a $35 bottle of whiskey. So, you know, can't complain about that so far here on the Cooper's Craft. Okay, definitely got the brown sugar, but this time I got more of a candied apple. Definitely the brown sugar, definitely the butter, a little bit of candied apple in there. Just a hint, a hint of oak, real, real low in the background there. I think there is just a hint of like a dandelion of like a kind of like a fresh, you know, like floweriness to it in the background. Not a whole lot, just a little bit on the back. Yeah, it's real buttery, real, real brown sugar, a bit of the... Uh, candied apple, maybe just a hint of cherry in there too. It smells pretty good. I'm excited to try it. Cheers, everybody. Okay. First thing I noticed was the butteriness. That was the first thing I got uh, right out of the gates. It, it, was, it was kind of weird because it coated the tongue nicely at first, but it dissipated pretty quickly. So a lot of times when you get that nice cut of the tongue, it'll actually hang on for a little bit and give you some of those nice flavors and that nice oily uh, viscosity in there. But this one, it, it got you, and then it's like, nah, just kidding, I'm out. <laughs> All right, so definitely got the butteriness. Definitely got, there's just a, definitely some cherry in there. Brown sugar, is there brown sugar like on the nose? Don't get nearly the brown sugar on the palate that you get on the nose. I actually get more of the floralness, which is strange. I wouldn't have really expected that to get that at all out of this, but it's almost like a, like a fresh floralness, like a dandelion smells is kind of how it tastes almost. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I don't know if my receptors are just a little wiry tonight or what's going on by there, but that's what I'm getting on it so far. Yeah, it comes, it hits you with nice sweetness. It's more of a, 
on the palate instead of a brown sugar. It's more of like just a, a sugary, like cherry soda almost. More like a sugary cherry soda on the palate, but without obviously the fizziness of a cherry soda. But if you just think of what the flavor profile of a sugary cherry soda would be, one that's like real sweet and sugary, not like one of the diet things or anything like that, but one of the dense, real sugary ones. It's not dense, it's very light, but just that flavor profile is what I'm getting out of it. I'm not getting too much spiciness on there. If anything, just like a hint of maybe that all spice in there, just a little bit there on the back end. It does give you just like, it gives you like a stab of bitter, like halfway through it, it just hits you with a, a little stab of bitter, but then that goes away too. So that's not too bad. I can't complain about that at all, especially for the price of this bottle. Overall for the price, it's definitely worth the $35. I can tell you that right now. I'm just trying to determine where I think this should go on the tier system overall, just based on the quality of the whiskey when we don't take into account the price and availability and all that kind of stuff. The flavors are real nice up front. They're real nice up front. They come and go very quickly, which is, I think, my main complaint. It does leave you with some sweet cherry on the end, just some sweet cherry on the end, which is nice because when it's on the front of the tongue, it just hangs there for a second. It gives you that hint of butteriness and oiliness up front, coats the tongue, but then that goes real quick. Doesn't give you, like I said, much of the brown sugar that I was getting on the nose. But hey, I can't complain. I would be happy to sip this thing every day, all day, especially at the price point of $35 and, you know, move on with it. So I'm trying to determine where I want to put this thing on the B tier because I'm struggling in my mind of it's definitely really good for the price and also fighting of, well, where is it compared to, you know, the higher price good stuff, where good stuff, you know, where does it really fall in there compared to that? Yeah, definitely get, I do get some of that dandelion quality in there. And that's when a little bit of that bitterness hits in there. So, okay, that sip decided it for me. It's pretty good. I can't, I can't knock it really at all, especially for coming in $35. But if I'm going to rank it on the tier list and think about the whiskey, just as the whiskey itself, and not about, you know, everything else that goes into this bourbon game, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on the C tier, which is good, especially for a $35 whiskey to get on the C tier. Everyday drinker, be very happy to have this in my glass every day. I could sit there, sip on it, have no problems with it at all, wouldn't complain. It's 100 proof, so you know, it's not down in the 90s or anything like that. You get a little bit, you get, you can feel it a little bit, not too bad or anything like that. But yeah, it's gonna go on the C tier for me for Cooper's Craft from Brown Foreman's. I, I like the way the bottle looks. Bottle looks pretty cool, love the label. Like it, pretty much everything about it, just a couple things are like, almost there but just not quite there it's kind of what i'm getting out of this one it's like oh almost almost had it it's like that guy with the the fishing reel and it's got the one dollar bill and it's like oh you almost had it that's kind of what i feel like i'm getting out of the cooper's craft here but let me know what do you guys think about cooper's craft have you had it before where would you put it on the tier system do me one big favor if you haven't already make sure you hit like especially make sure you hit subscribe really trying to push for getting towards a thousand subscribers by uh, the end of this year so i got about six months to go i know it's kind of a lofty goal sitting around the 350s right now when i make this video but i would love to get there hopefully you guys can help me do that and i'll see you guys for your next drink